Pisces. Treat me nice, please. It is Mira. It is Shiva. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Terra. I am back at it again. One time for the one time. Just here to let you know what is going on for March 2021. Yes, indeed. We're here to have fun. I hope all of you guys have been having a fine, joyous, and festive, you know, birthday season. Happy birthday to all of my Pisces. Happy birthday to you guys. All right. So let's find out what we got going on in the month of March. All right. So um, I want to give a big shout out to all my OGs, to all my newbies. Thank you so much for coming through and like, sharing, and subscribing to this video video if you would like to book a personal and private reading check out the description of this video or click the about tab on my youtube page the best way to connect with me is to send me a message on instagram messenger if you don't have instagram messenger shoot me an email scorpionrise at gmail.com all right you know we always give thanks and praise to you know the father god the universe you know whatever it is that you want to call them so we want to give Father God some praise just to, um, you know, say thank you for where we're currently standing. And, you know, ask him to give us guidance for um, where we're at right now for March, all right? So, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Pisces, Father God. Uh, we appreciate for all of the blessed, abundant, and just graceful joy that's been in our life, Father God. We thank you so much for bringing us here to see another year. A lot of Pisces have been celebrating their birthdays, have already celebrated their birthdays, or it's you know yet to come so we just want to say thank you for just bringing us here to see another year father god we thank you so much for you know all of the gifts and presents that have just been laid beneath our feet father god we've just been able to just reach down and just pick up so many just treasures you know what i'm saying so many precious things so many precious gifts some things are tangible and you know like physical form some things are just in spirit you know what i'm saying you guys have just been picking yourself up and just uplifting and just like raising yourself above the ball and just like inviting a lot of beautiful beautiful gifted and just like high spirited people in your life so we just so thankful for all of these gifts father god you know thank you so much for just being so present in our life and just you know showing us how to make the best of every single moment that we have so father god give us the guidance that we need to receive for march 2021 father god we're here to have Fun. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, so let's get into it, Pisces. Let's get into it, my dears. So we're going to get into the tea a little bit. We're going to get into the tea a little bit. So we're going to start off with the tea oracle cards. I know you guys love these babies. So let's get two on each side. Give me two cards. Up. Oh, we got three. You got the broken ring and you got pineapples. It says a parting ways either in romance or business. And then it says a reconciliation. There's a parting of ways, but yet there's a reconciliation. Hmm. I'm taking this. Let me see what this says. And then it says a V for victory. So what I'm getting here is there has been something that had to break down and part ways in able for, in, in order for something else to reconnect and claim victory. You have to break something back down in order to build something else back up. Something wasn't meant to be. It didn't belong. It didn't fit. Whatever this contract was, whatever this engagement was, whatever this agreement was, it may have come together um, under, I don't want to say false intenses. It, it was, I don't know. I feel like it was something about this. I don't want to say it came together under false pretenses, but... Um, I don't feel on all sides it was true, genuine energy. And that's why something fell apart here. Something was off. There wasn't 100% being put in on both ends. You feel me? So something didn't work. It didn't fit. It wasn't meant to be. And sometimes we just got to let broken things lie. Once things are broke, stop trying to fix things. Stop trying to go back to that same pattern. That's just like if you have... um. Let's say you were in a technician field, you know, um, you know, maintenance technician or something, and 
you have a broken relationship with that field for whatever reason. You just keep getting let go, let down, fired, or you end up walking away from positions for some reason. Like, one, two, three times the charm. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop trying to repair and feel like you have to be attached and you have to make this work. You know, whatever this agreement was, it did not agree with you. So you just had to let that go in order for you to reconnect with something else where it's a little bit more fruitful. Do you understand? You had to let something go in order to reconnect with something that you might have long thought about. You might have long thought about and forgot about it as well. You may have forgot about this passion. You may have forgot about this gift. You may have forgot about the energy that you used to put into something. So you may be reconnecting into something and you're finding victory in it. All right. So let's see what else we got. Give me two. Even though you wanted to give me three. Okay, that is a lot. That's too much. Let's see. We got the kangaroo. Unsettled times. Need to plan ahead. Okay. You got the bed. This is a lot. I'm not about to read all of this. This is a lot. You got the bell. You got an announcement. So unsettling times you need to plan ahead. And then you got the announcement. So there may be some information coming to you that I want to say may just throw you off your plan a little bit. But you definitely, it seems like you're carrying something or you're carrying your kids or you're carrying some type of responsibility. I don't necessarily think that this is like um, a bad thing. I want to say, like, when I'm looking at this bell, I'm hearing, like, a bell. You know, like, how they ring the bell for, for church or for school or something like that? It's like school or so, stuff is back in session. So, it's like, you need to plan ahead. And you see that this person, this kangaroo, is carrying, like, a child in its pouch and things like that. So, I think this has something. And then you got the skull. You got the shark, you got the haystack, and then you got the frying pan. Ooh, this is hot. Jesus Christ. It got the skull. So this is hidden information. It says hidden secrets can harm you. And then you got the shark. Take care or there will be loss of material wealth. And then you got the haystack. Karma. You will reap what you have sown. Really? And then you got the frying pan. Trouble and accusations. This is this is a lot. This is a lot. I don't know if I'm feeling here. That someone may have broke an engagement off or an, an agreement with a situation and, cor and, and corrected their wrongs with another situation. They reconnected. They broke this off. Reconnected with this because they felt more fruitful. They felt that they would receive victory and something. I don't know if this is just a separate message right here that someone needs to hear. But someone needs to hear this too. And what is this? This is the fan. Romance. A celebration and a party. Sometimes when I get this, I'm, I literally take that as like a fan. A fan. Unsettling times, you need to plan ahead. There's an announcement. It's hidden secrets. That can harm you. Take care, there will be loss. Financially, karma, you will reap what you are sold. Trouble and accusations. Romance, celebration, and a party. A fan. So I'm going to keep it 100. I'm going to read it the way I need to read it here because that's what I'm getting. There could be someone that may, um, I don't want to say, but yeah, it may be a little bit obsessed after this broken romance here because I definitely feel like someone broke an engagement. This I feel like this has to do with a relationship. Um, broke an engagement off 
and reconnected with something else in their past and then they found victory in this. They found victory in this. This definitely has to do with love and romance, clearly. Romance, celebration, a party. It may be an unsettling time for someone to get this announcement, to understand this information. There may be information that someone doesn't know that it soon would have come to light. Someone may have jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. That's what it seems like to me. And it definitely seems like where it may seem like it's sudden victory right now. Someone may be getting their karma. And it's something about this. It's like the announcement of like school having to be back in session. I don't know why I feel like someone may be caught off guard by that. I don't know why I feel like someone may have a struggle with um it, it's like some type of unsettled feeling about the kids going back to school, the announcement about having to go back to school. I feel like that is an unsettling thing for a parent, for a mother and I feel like someone may be reconsidering um, if they want their child to go back physically into school or not. Like, depending on this announcement uh, and how they roll things out is going to determine how they're going to protect their child. Because I don't, I don't think that whoever this mother is agrees with this announcement. And that's on period. And that has nothing to do with that's down here. I just got that off the rip. It's like unsettling. Someone does not feel comfortable with sending their young child to school and they don't have a handle on whatever this COVID thing is. So let's get let's get some numerical oracle here. Give me guidance for my Pisces for March. Clarify the situation. Give me two cards. We got relationship change. There's definitely, I mean, we, we definitely see that someone is breaking up with someone and getting with someone from their past. And they are going to see success and, uh, success and victory in it. But at the same time, someone is going to receive some type of karma. Because it's like jumping out of the frying pan into the fire. And maybe something that you don't know about this person that may eventually come and bite you in the ass later on. That skull in this shark. Y'all remember that song by V.V. Brown, Shark in the Water? If y'all don't know who V.V. Brown is, I believe she's like a British um, artist. She had a song back in the day I used to love. It was called Shark in the Water. If y'all have never heard that, they used to play it on The Sims, and I loved it. But they played V.V. Brown, Shark in the Water, and then you got healing. So there's a lot of like throat chakra energy right here with all of these blues here. Relationship change and healing. Um, I, don't, I feel like this needs to be like some type of communication. Uh, I don't know if it's like you're having to look at yourself. And there's someone. There's someone here. I don't know if this is the Pisces that got broke up with. Or if this is the Pisces that is breaking up with somebody. Or I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You have to take it how it, how it resonates with you. But there's someone here that they had they got broken up with. Because someone else was in search of something in the past. That person feels like the person that left them is going to get their karma. Because it's some, it's some shit that this person does not know. I have about the person that they're this big fan of right now. That they're having a celebration, this romance, this party with. It's ever something that they don't know about this person. And they're being quiet about it. Because this person thinks that it's victory. They think that this is victory. You know? But at the end of the day, everyone's going to reap their karma for what was done. And whoever this is that was broken up with... That's hurting. I definitely feel. I don't feel like there's like a real, real deep hurting. I feel like there's the healing. 
there's like you know it's like they're accepting the relationship change but at the same time they are saying in their head this motherfucker's going to get their karma because I don't even think that they know who do, who they just got involved with I really want to go to the love oracle deck y'all is this about to be just a straight up oracle reading today y'all because I got like I don't know how many decks sitting around me so y'all just about to get wherever I feel like you know, it depends on how the tea cards come out how I'm going to read and which decks I'm going to pull from what is this soulmate so it like this person definitely feels like they've met their soulmate but it's something that this person does not fucking know it's something somebody is completely oblivious about who the fuck that they're dealing with and again out of the frying pan into the fire trouble and accusations there's some shit that is going to come out hitting information that could harm you something that you really going to have to sit um mm, 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 y'all i don't know man i don't know bruh i don't like that uh tell me about this change in relationship please like you breaking up with somebody to reconcile with someone else. Seeking victory in the situation. Oh, Dios mío. Y'all made me see what's going on in the shadows. Because I just recently did a personal and I had to go bring out some shadow cards, child. So since we got them, we made look solitude and dark night of the soul. So again, we did say that there's someone that broke up and it feels like they felt that felt like they felt their soulmate i don't feel like they have any idea of who they just really got connected with but they're really in love they think that they found their soulmate but they're going to receive karma in some type of way then you got the other person that's over here in solitude going through the dark night of the soul that is healing do you understand what i'm saying like whatever this situation is it pushed it was like an involuntary breakup. Like this person didn't have a choice in the matter because whoever this is, they found their soulmate or somebody else came back into their life and what y'all had wasn't strong enough. You know? So it this person had to communicate change. They're not telling you this, but they they found their soulmate. And this puts you into solitude and healing in a dark night of the soul where you're having to go within your own self, you know. And this is when people go through that process of that divine feminine process because this is when people realize that the type of people that I'm dating are not shit. I have a long pattern and a long history of having these relationships where I'm just not happy and getting the type of success that I truly want out of these relationships. So it must not be them. It's me. What is it about me that I need to fix so I can start to attract what it is that I truly need in my life? And I can't do that without truly spending some time to myself. Because running around trying to chase and, 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 and find that within other people, you'll never find it. And you'll keep repeating the same cycles over and over and over and over and over again and it's like i don't even feel like this person is really that mad at this person because they're gonna get their karma just like they said <laughs> just like they said this person gonna get their karma you know what i'm saying so it just it, it just is what it is but it, it forced you to do what you needed to do let's go over here in the shadows because i do want to see like going through this dark night of the soul experience like what is it that you really need to work on baby Give me um, guidance here. Okay. Okay. So it's like, okay, you got manip. Oh, Jesus. You got the manipulation and you got the sellout card here. So it looks like here, you need to work on, like, stop selling. It's like, stop selling yourself out. Like, doing things and giving into manipulation. That's why this manipulation is in the reverse. 
You know, like can't nobody can't just come and conjure me and just put some little little love spells and little trickery and mind fuckery on me and get me all deep within my crawl where I'm not being myself. Do you understand? Like, so when I see this card, it's like this is someone and I hate this card. I really do hate this card. But this is this is someone that has a set principle in their life. Like they want to be married. They want the uh husband with the boy and girl and the pretty house with the white picket fence and the dog and they have their own business and send your kids off to college and they go vacation in Cabo like it like that's the life that they want they don't want people having affairs and cheating and scandal and all that shit they just want like true relationship goals but when you give into manipulation you will sell yourself out. You will tolerate and you will deal with some shit. And you will allow people to mislead you. And you will do things that you never said that you would do and put up with some shit that you... Do you understand what I'm saying? So, like, this person is trying to work out within their self. Because... This shit right here don't happen overnight. Like, someone does not just... Decide, oh, I just bumped into my soulmate. My soulmate just came back into my life. Oh, I got to go. I fuck with you, but uh, peace. Like, we need to change this shit. I'm going over here. That shit don't just happen overnight. Do you understand what I'm saying? And at some point in time within this situation over here, this person needed to be removed out of this life for this person to truly heal and go within their self to be like, you know what? I'm tired of being, mani I'm not being manipulated by people not like that no more. I'm not selling myself out like that. I truly know my principles and what I want and what type of relationship I need and how I grew up and what I think love is. I'm not letting nobody manipulate me and sell myself out and give to and tolerate and entertain no bullshit no more. Because no matter what they say, when them motherfuckers is tired of you and they want to get up and leave and they say, oh, I found my soulmate, they will get up and leave. And you ain't got nothing to do but to sit down and work on yourself. It's like you don't have no control. People can tell you whatever the fuck they want to do, whatever they want and get up and do whatever the fuck they want to do and don't care about you. You know, and that's basically like how this person feels right now. So let's get into the tarot. Let's see what the advice is. Closes to enough, you guys. Mm. What's the advice here about this relationship change? Um, I feel like this is the Pisces that may be going through this relationship change. Um, but I feel like the Pisces is the one that moved on with someone else, though. I really do feel like. Pisces may be the one that moved on with someone else. And they feel like they found their soulmate. But you got the Ace of Swords here that just came out in the reverse. So again, I feel like this news, whatever this information is, unsettling. And I do feel like someone is struggling to face the truth and the reality of the situation. It's just like, it's hitting you, but it still ain't hitting you. Um, it's like you still... I feel like this is someone struggling for answers. They, they just want to know why. Like, where where and why did this sudden change? Just where did this come from? You know? So, it's like... And still, I, I still feel whatever answers this person may could give you about this situation. It's like you still don't believe it or you're still very confused about it. It's like you just don't understand. But certain things, it's not about getting some true understanding about. It's about just recognizing shit is just what it is sometimes. And you doing what you need to do so that you can move on and let motherfuckers do what they going to do. Because if this person did you any type of fucking wrong, like you said, this motherfucker going to get their karma. You know? So you just you just don't understand. You just don't understand. Give me one more on this ace of swords and then we're gonna go over here on this other side. Clarify this ace of swords for me. Thank you so much. And then you got the strength in the reverse. So this is like it is is not making sense. You're having a struggle with the truth, and then also it just seems to me like um there's still some type of 
desire, temptation, yearning, and um, I wouldn't say like sexual lust or something for this person. It's like you may be missing this person intimately. You may be missing their touch. You may, you know, I want to even say like even the arguments and something like that. It's like I want to say things could be a little bit boring right now because you just like the lack of intimacy, the lack of communication, the lack of understanding. And it's like um, you may be struggling right now with the strength to kind of just move on. And that's why someone is going through the dark night of the soul over there. That's honestly what I'm getting. Because... And then I'm also getting like someone may be um, because it's like you keep fighting the urge to reach out to communicate with the person to try to get some understanding thing. This person is going to give you the truth and they're not going to give you the truth. And, it's, and that, that's why you see the person's arm is getting bit by the lion because it's like you need to control that urge to communicate. Like stop reaching. If you are reaching out to this person trying to get some answers, stop. You're never going to get the answers that you're looking for. And it's like you keep putting yourself in, in danger. For, you know what I'm saying? Not in physical danger, but it's just like to get hurt even more. So just stop. Take the relationship change. It, it, it is what it is. And you have to control your urges to want to fight. Stop fighting. Don't even keep trying to understand this shit. Some things are just left to be misunderstood. You know what I'm saying? Let, let people do what they're going to do. Give me guidance over here. What is this? You got the three of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah. So, um, I definitely feel like you need to focus on work. You need to focus on, like, truly digesting, understanding. Because, like, the three of pentacles in the reverse is, like, um, lack of education or... Um, Someone having a hard time with the experience of like going back to school or having to learn something. It's like they're having a hard time understanding something, you know. So it's like, yeah, it's like someone struggling through school and like having to do day school and night school to kind of like catch up or something like that. So I feel like you're finally like catching up with yourself. Like, because with this solitude, this healing, the dark night of the soul and all of this stuff, it's like, I feel like you're finally having this time to really catch up. It's something where someone is having to take a real good look at yourself and it's like, why haven't I, it's like I haven't learned my lesson yet because this is someone that may have failed a course, like, one or two times this may be your third time having to retake this course and it's like why the fuck is it so hard for me to understand this course like this information what the hell am I not getting so it's like you may need to like reach out to someone to kind of just like help you and kind of like hold your hand and support you through this process like a study buddy or something like that because it's like it's power and it's power in numbers. It's power in resources. It's power in love. And it's power in care. So, like, don't reject. Like, if someone is saying, like, listen, I've been through this too. Let me help you. Take my advice. Like, sometimes people don't want to listen. They don't want to take advice. They want to be hard-headed. That's what the three of, you know what I'm saying? This is someone that keep dropping out of school or unemployed don't want to work don't you know what i'm saying don't want to work things out don't want to listen don't want to learn you know what i'm saying so it's like it also is like rejecting assistance and help to don't do that don't do that especially if this is like your third time around dealing with the same situation same shit different toilet don't reject help if there are people that have been in the same shoes where you are and you've seen them succeed and overcome this, allow them to help you, baby. Allow them to, You're not the only person that's went. Like, we've all gone through this. That's why we're here. You know what I'm saying? We're all helping each other right now. And, and trust me, I went through this, like, probably like four years ago. And I kept calling a person 
Because I just want to understand, like, why? Like, what did I do? Like, what is going on, you know? It's like a passion behind wanting to understand. I need to wrap my head around what made you just turn here. After I, I did so much. I, I've, I've changed so much about myself for you in this situation. And you just go and do this. Trial, trust me. I understand. Give me guidance here on this Three of Pentacles last card. And we up out of here. Now I might give y'all one more bonus card. This y'all's birthday. And then you got the full of torches in the reverse. So yeah, this is definitely like a, um, yeah. This is basically saying that whatever relationship, whatever friendship, foundation, family, this was that you had going, uh, it's divorced. It's been dissolved. Um, whatever plans that were made to party to celebrate it's been canceled like <laughs> you know what I'm saying like it's just it's over it's over like this shit's just not gonna work out with the three of pentacles in reverse it's not gonna work out it doesn't matter how much energy you put into it it's not going to work out period it's like the energy has to come from both ends and if it's not gonna come from both ends genuinely it'll never work so it's like someone needing to understand that it's over and don't give in to the manipulation or sell yourself out trying to force or make something work that it is not destined to be go through this dark night of the soul and heal yourself spend this time to yourself heal yourself don't go back to that I wouldn't want to go back to that. If that person thinks that what they have right here, you know, this may be an unsettling announcement to you. And I don't know if you have kids in tow with this situation. But yeah, this person is celebrating to have a whole new romance. Whole new romance. This person thinks it's their soulmate. But, like this says, out of the frying pan into the fire. Motherfuckers think that they're going on to something better. Let them do it. Let's get a last... Get some last words of advice. So what do the Pisces have to look forward to? March. Let's see. Uh, we got the year. Uh, <laughs> coffin. You got the coffin with the five of space. Yeah, this is someone, like, it's just death. Like, the situation is being cut out of your life for a reason. It's being cut out of your life for a reason. It needed to end. It needed to end. The five of five of spades is like someone feeling like they've been stabbed in the back. You feel stabbed in the back. You feel like someone that you trusted, like just took everything that you had and threw it away. But this needed to happen for a reason. It needed to. It says the coffin foretells acute illness or loss of property when near. Ooh, honey, and then you got the. Ooh, my Jesus. That's why I'm trying to tell y'all. Whoever this is here, that thinks that this is their soulmate, they have no idea what the fuck they're getting themselves into, baby. This says acute illness or loss of property when near, when distant. The probability of averting evil. Well, baby, I'm not doing a full spread of this. We're just going at face value. And then you got the pig here. With the three of spades. The three of spades, spades is also like, uh, like foretell sickness and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And you got the pig. The three of spades is also like cheating. And, you know, like, oh. God, I don't want to say that. I'm not saying that. Nope, I'm not saying that. Oh, I'm not saying that. No, okay, I got to say it. No, I don't want to say it because it sounds so bad. I just, I feel like, um, mm -mm, I can't say that. I can't say that. Gosh, like, it's just certain things I got to I gotta leave to myself. I got to leave to myself. If y'all want to know, y'all got to hit me up on a personal level. I'm not saying that. But somebody got some. Whoever this is that thinks that that's their soulmate, it's some real mm, shit 
that is going on in that girl's family. That girl, yeah, who is that saying in that girl's family? And whoever the girl is, it's some gnarly shit going on in that girl's family. And that family is sick. That's all I'm going to say. Family is fucking sick. The whole fucking family. The three of spades is traditionally a card of loss, deception, and lies, misunderstanding, confusion, growing problems, a worsening condition, deterioration, deterioration, disease, infection, a third party in interference, a third wheel, meddling, a love triangle, what goes on behind the scenes, trials, tribulations, a test, an exam, and didn't it say sickness? The five of spades represents traditionally a call of anger loss um, from an older symbolic meaning is the hand holding the knife. I told you someone feeling stabbed in the back. The five of spades can denote cutting someone or cutting something out of someone's life. It can also denote a surgical dis a procedure, a divorce. Listen, where is it? The, uh, the four of torches right here, a divorce. I told you. This not working. Things not being put back together. It's not working. It said it also means quitting, leaving, going at it alone. Loss, fear of abandonment, loneliness, depression, separation accompanied by pain, grief, sorrow, tears. The left hand, the left handed, the left path. So, I, I told y'all. And remember, out of the frying pan into the fucking fire. Boy, yeah. So listen, I'm just gonna leave it here. Uh, I think this is enough tea for the evening. I hope y'all enjoyed this read reading. And listen, and if y'all are going through this situation, go through this, cause I swear to God, you gonna come out a fucking butterfly, baby. I went through this, and it wasn't until that I went through this that I changed my life and. I started attracting who I really was because I was this. I was giving into manipulation and I was selling out and just because someone looked good or I was, you know what I'm saying? Like, because me, I'm very hooked on looks. You know what I'm saying? If someone looked good, I might deal with it. And I know they may kick me a little bullshit. I don't believe them, but I might listen to it a little bit. You know, so it's like I, I I had to go through this to change myself. Why am I putting up with this? What it is about me? What is it about me that I need to change so that I can see a different reflection in the type of people that approach me and the type of opportunities that are coming in my life? I had to change because this person's going to go and continue to be them. Do you understand what I'm saying? Child, listen. This person is going to go and continue to be them. And sometimes people meet their karma and they meet someone just like them. Trying to be greedy. Right? Hmm. So anyway, I, listen. Mm, mm, mm. I gotta go. I gotta go. Y'all hit that like button. I see y'all in April. Peace.